45,000 students depend on my strong, capable, knowledgeable, and well-rounded leadership. The role of school board trustee is that of an educational policymaker. We set the vision, we provide structure, and we require accountability. We continually advocate for educational opportunities and fundings for our students, and through unity, we work as a board body, understanding that no one trustee can affect change by themselves. In support of that, I feel that I must continue to provide my expertise on the allocation of $387 million for the budget, the $426 million bond funds, and the ongoing audit process that I strongly advocated for. My eight years of board experience working collaboratively with my fellow trustees has allowed KISD to maintain a balanced budget even during times of sequestration. My business and financial experiences allow me to analyze in depth the current needs of the district in relationship to the funding that is available. From the $83 million of local tax dollars to the $251 million that the state provides and the approximately $56 million that we get from impact aid dollars, always being mindful that the taxpayer is the investor in public education. And the student and our community are the beneficiaries of that investment. Making a difference in society through education significantly impacts our community, the great state of Texas, and our nation. It impacts the world as a whole. Financial resources are always at the center of all issues. Unlike a business, we cannot earn more dollars through increased sales or production. Thus, with limited resources, we must first do what is necessary and then what we feel is possible. Hiring and retaining highly qualified employees in today's job market with a 3.5% unemployment rate is difficult. Add to that a 10-month work calendar and a workforce that includes military spouses who relocate with their service members on an average of every three to five years. It is important to assure our employees that they are valued and that their contributions to our children's education makes a difference. Our current personnel cost is 85% of our budget. That is up from 83% in 2011-12 when I came on the board. I voted to continue longevity pay, recognizing that our experienced employees are valuable and that the midpoint pay raises are less than equitable for our senior employees. I will continue to work with my fellow trustees to find affordable and sustainable options that benefit all employees in our district. Another challenge KISD is facing is securing impact aid funding. The current formula is based on heavily impacted school districts and maintaining a military connected student ratio of 35% or greater. As more and more service members exit the service and elect to stay in our great community, they become part of our growing civilian student body. We have seen our percentages decrease from 1989 to in 1990 from 66.6% to 54.5% in the year 2012 when I came on the school board. Today we stand at approximately 37% and that is down from 39% last year. Our decreasing percentage does not change the fact that we are still the largest military connected uh, school district in the nation. I will continue to advocate for policy changes and a new formulary to allocate funding at a national level. In the meantime, I will support a conservative budgeting process of these funds, understanding that this funding stream is approximately 13.7 percent of our budget and we stand to lose 30 million dollars should our percentage of military connected children drop below 35 percent. Our special education program has seen many positive changes over the last few years. We must not forget about the importance of these students as we struggle against the testing models and do our best to deliver a free and appropriate education for these students. 
We are looking at a follow-up a follow-up audit in the summer of 2020 to validate the efforts that we have been working towards. And we have also added facilitators that will help ease the process between the parents and the educational staff in getting these children the services that they deserve. I will always look for the best value for our dollar. How that dollar serves our students' educational experience and the security of our schools. The safety of our students and our staff as the remodeling projects are underway is paramount to every decision I make. Funds for any of the school bond projects cannot be redirected to another school bond project or redirected to the Strategic Facilities Fund until all the projects are completed based on the bond programs, whether it's A or whether it's bond program B. At that point, the district then can use those funds in the Strategic Facilities account to do other things that are needed within the KISD footprint. Change orders are inevitable on any project, and especially on a project as large as building a school or remodeling a school. Many variables, such as the availability or the cost of materials, the site uh, work may have changed somewhat, and there may be other issues, uh, especially on our remodeling projects, such as the integrity of structures, as well as perhaps hazardous materials. So we must be flexible in our decision-making process on these projects and always look and focus on what we're going to get as far as best dollar. Because of these variables, we will always have to come back and reevaluate the best dollar for the school projects and make changes where necessary. As soon as the bond programs were passed, the KISD School Board contracted with our auditors to begin a preemptive construction audit. This audit is ongoing. It's, it'll continue all the way through the construction projects. We will be receiving updates from the auditors as well as from the superintendent and the construction managers at our regular board meetings as well as at our workshops. These workshops and board meetings are open to the public. They are posted three days in advance of the meeting and we encourage and welcome all people to come and participate, listen, and there is a public forum opportunity where they can speak. KISD has a link on their website that will allow you to monitor the bond programs and how we're spending the money and the changes that we're making. We also have our board meetings televised and you can view those on channel 17 at the KISD site. I have always made myself accessible to the community by providing my personal cell phone number, which is 254-290-0383. You can call this number anytime between the hours of 7 a.m. and 9 p.m. at night and I will answer you or I will get back to you shortly and I take calls Monday through Sunday. You can text me at that same number or you can email me at susan.jones at colleenisd.org. You can also message me on Facebook at Susan Jones for KISD and you can stop by my office. I work at Extra Co Banks in Harker Heights and I'm there typically between the hours of 9 a.m and 6 p.m. You can call and schedule an appointment with me or I'll be happy to meet you at a location on a Saturday or a Sunday or even after the duty hour uh, to discuss your concerns or suggestions to make KISD a better place for our students.